Welcome to part five of fixing Will's power hammer. I'm headed to Spokane to make some chips while we're making some dyes. And today's sponsor is NordVPN. NordVPN is a virtual private network service that keeps you safe while you're browsing the internet. You can get 68% off a two year plan plus an additional month for free when you go to NordVPN forward slash forge and use code forge at checkout. With that, let's jump back into the video. Well, I made it to Jason's shop. We're gonna get started making these dyes. Jason, thank you so much for having me. Awesome, Will, thanks for coming. Jason has a beautiful shop here, and he knows what he's doing. So we're gonna get these things whipped up in a jiffy. So we got our pieces unloaded, and I ended up shipping this piece of 10 and a half inch round 4340 over here. A friend of mine in Seattle had it. What's what's the plan? Well, I want to convert that big block of steel into new dies. <laughs> that, as you can see, we have a lot of material to remove. <laughs> That's right. So these old dies that came on the hammer are, first off, have just weird angles cut on them, and they're kind of mushroomed out, and there's holes in this one, and I'll divot in the bottom one. So we've got a lot of work to do. I think we're gonna take it to the bandsaw and at least try to get it into some manageable chunks and then we'll probably take it to the shaper and do some whittling on it. Jason's got the forklift, we've got a scale on here and then we have an electromagnet to be able to lift up this big chunk of steel. So, now that we've got a lot of the cutting done, Jason went ahead and figured out what the dovetail degrees are here using a very nifty set of, they look like parallels, precision ground, but they've got a bunch of different angles on them, right? Yep. So, what do we got here? It's kind of a mess. The sow block has been remade, and they cut a two degree um, taper into the walls to hold the die in. And then they matched it with the die itself. But the original ram, has a five degree angle on that. So we have to make two different angles <laughs> for two separate dies, which is gonna be actually not as tough as it sounds because I wanna use the shaper instead of the milling machine. Plus, the shaper is really, really fun. Oh yeah, it's the funnest machine in the shop. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So we've got one cut left to make on the shaper before this block is at the final dimension. And then I'm gonna try for my personal best, which is an inch and a quarter depth of cut, which that thick. And the reason that we're doing 
an inch and a quarter depth of cut is because that is precisely how deep this dovetail is. So we need to take it out anyway. So we might as well do it in one pass. Now that we've got it cut into the T-shaped cross section, we're gonna go ahead and cut the five degree dovetail. Alrighty-o, with that, the first die is done. Oh, there it is, the first finished die. the last couple passes and we'll have these dies finished up there it is wow that was a whole day of sawing and shaping got ourselves some finished dies well they've still got a little belt grinding to do on them to get the radiuses and stuff in there but i'm not going to waste jason's time with that well we got the dies wrapped up jason Thank you so much. Man, it's so fun having you here. You're welcome anytime. He's welcome anytime to the shop. Like, <laughs> Thank you. this was better than Disneyland to hog off big chips on big pieces of metal. So, I, I, we, we talked about it a little bit, but that is the biggest chip I've ever seen come off of a shaper. Me too. And that I have found a video on. But that, I think we can go bigger. I think so. It, yeah. Well, be, you guys will have to check out his channel for all of the insane metalworking stuff that he does. Like, he just built this giant vise. It's amazing. <laughs> so yeah, go check him out. Fireball Tools on YouTube and on Instagram. I'll see you guys back in Montana. I made it back to Montana, and I just gotta say, these chunks of steel right here are to die for. Hey, it's so funny! <laughs> it's a good one. But actually, what I've got to do now, now that they're all shaped, I'm gonna go ahead and just start radiusing all of these corners playing with the surface finish a little bit on the belt grinder. I don't want these crispy 90 degree angles because when I'm forging on this hammer, we want it to be a little bit radius like it is on the other two hammers that we have so that it's not forging cold shuts into our work pieces. We're just gonna kinda cut nice chamfers all the way around. Well, these pieces are ready to be shipped off to heat treat. Uh, we don't have the capability to heat treat them here. We do, we could heat them up in our Paragon ovens, but we don't have the oil to quench them in because, well, if we did it in here, it would explode and we would all die and we don't wanna do that. So we're gonna ship them off to a heat treater. In the meantime, we'll start working on how we're going to drive the hammer using old school pulleys. The drive pulley on the hammer needs to spin at about 275 RPM, which is about a quarter the speed of the motor. I've spent a whole day working on it and I have no clue what I'm doing. My first idea was to have a big pole that sat behind the hammer, ran all the way up, had a little drive wheel here, and then when you stepped on the treadle it would tighten and run. However, there's a hole in the frame of the hammer and it blocked that hole making it useless. The next iteration was put the motor about halfway up so we're missing the hole and then go up and over an idler pulley and then down and stuff like that. However, this would have bad contact, bad control, and just not work great in general. The third idea, 
after I found out that it would be a really good plan to have a big wheel up above to drive this thing, I found a 26 inch giant old line shaft pulley. However, I couldn't get it to spin slow enough to drive this thing at the right RPM. So, what we're going to do, I found a 15 inch pulley at a friend of mine's place in Lewistown. I'm gonna get that pulley. I then have an 18 and a half inch V-belt pulley that'll come down on a jack shaft to the motor sitting down here. So the motor will sit down here, drive up, the V-belt pulleys will sit behind the frame. It'll be a jack shaft up above that drives another big pulley that then has the slack belt around it. First thing we're gonna do is get this motor cleaned up a little bit because it is currently quite crusty. Got the motor painted and it's looking amazeballs. I'm sorry I said that, Isaiah put me up to it. <clears throat> but it looks so much better than it did. It no longer looks crusty and sad. And we're ready to throw it onto this piece of steel plate to drill some holes so we can get it anchored down onto there. And then we'll build a tensioning system so we can get the V-belts that we're gonna use tightened and loosened for taking the hammer apart and stuff like that. So this is a piece of half inch plate that we're gonna mount this motor to. We get squared up in here. Now that we've got the holes drilled in the motor mount, we're ready to move on to the base, but we're gonna call it there for today's episode. Thank you again to Jason. Make sure to check out Fireball Tools on YouTube and on Instagram, and let's thank today's sponsor. And today's sponsor has been NordVPN. NordVPN is a virtual private network service that keeps you safe while you're cruising the World Wide Web, which is important because much like our parking lot, the internet is a very dangerous place. Okay, this is how it works. I need to get myself which is my personal data over to Yogo, which is the website. However, there's a parking lot full of dangerous hackers. Ah. So if I try to do it by myself, here's what happens. But thankfully, there is a better way. We can use one of Nord's thousand plus servers in over 60 countries to get our data to the website safely. So, you can be nice and discreet as you make your way to the website. And look at that, safe and sound, we can give the website our personal data. <laughs> and the other wonderful part about Nord is that it means that you can says things like Netflix from different countries so you can get all your favorite shows no matter where you are. So make sure to go check out Nord to get 68% off a two year plan and an extra month for free when you go to nord.com forward slash forge and use code forge at checkout. Thank you again so much to Nord for sponsoring today's episode. I'll see you guys on the next one.